Welcome to lecture number 56 of the series Unreal 5 for Arquis and in this lecture we'll learn about level of detail or LOD so let's get started level of detail or LOD is pretty much the same thing as Nanite just like Nanite the technique of level of detail dynamically reduces the poly count depending on the distance of the static mesh from the camera and improves FPS let's say I want to enable LOD on this static mesh so what I'll do is I'll simply select this static mesh I'll go into the details panel and first of all I'll disable Nanite I'll apply this change and to apply LOD on this static mesh what I'll do is I'll change the LOD group from none to large prop I'll click on yes and now we have applied LOD on this static mesh okay let's now learn how LODs work LODs work a little different than Nanite when we apply LOD on a static mesh what actually happens is it creates three to four different variants of that static mesh each with less number of polygons than the other and each version of that static mesh takes place depending on the distance okay for example when we applied LOD on this static mesh it created four number of LODs or in other words four different versions of this static mesh each with less number of polygons than the other if you want to create three number of LODs you can simply type in three and apply this change okay similarly you can go all the way up to eight if you want and apply this change I'll just keep it at 3 yeah you can also tweak the settings of these LODs individually for that what you need to do is you need to check this box custom okay and now you can see those three LODs in here here we have LOD 0 here we have LOD 1 and LOD 2 let's go into the wireframe mode so that I can show you how LODs actually work let me bring down the camera speed And let's get closer to this static mesh okay now you can see that from this distance we have an LOD of 0 but when I'll move away from the static mesh you can see this transition happening from LOD 0 to LOD 1 okay similarly if I'll move further away from the static mesh you'll see a transition between LOD 1 and LOD 2 let's get closer until we have LOD 0 yeah now you can see that in the reduction settings at LOD 0 we'll have 100% triangles of the default mesh which means that at LOD 0 we'll have absolutely no polygon reduction and we'll have 100% of the quality okay but when I'll move away from the static mesh there at LOD 1 let me adjust the position yeah at LOD 1 you'll see that we'll have 50% of the triangles of the default mesh okay similarly if I'll move further away from this static mesh at LOD number 2 if I'll go into the reduction settings you can see that we'll have 25% of the triangle of the default mesh and this is how actually LODs work it reduces the poly count after a specific distance hence giving us more FPS okay you can also tweak these values let's say at LOD 1 I don't want 50% reduction I want 20% reduction so I'll simply type in 80 so that will have 80% of the triangles at LOD 1 I'll apply this change it will take some time to evaluate and similarly at LOD 2 I don't want a 75% reduction of the original static mesh let's say I want a 50% reduction okay so I'll type in 50 and I'll apply this change let's get closer now when I'll have a transition to LOD 1 you can see that at LOD 0 we're having about 49,000 triangles and at LOD 1 we're having about 39,000 triangles okay similarly when I'll move further away from this static mesh at LOD 2 will have 24,000 triangles and at LOD 1 we are having about 39,000 triangles okay so in this way you can also customize the percentage of triangles you want at a specific distance you can tweak the distance as well let's say I want LOD 1 to take place at this distance so for this what I'll do is I'll go into the LOD settings and I'll uncheck this box auto compute LOD distances and now what I can do is I can simply type in this screen size value 
at this point we are having a screen size of 0 0.60 so I'll simply type in uh, 0 0.60 at LOD1 now this LOD transition will take place at this distance okay it jumped straight to LOD2 because we need to set this value let's say I want this LOD2 transition to take place at this distance so I'll simply type in the screen size value 0 0.38 I'm gonna type in 0 0.38 in here okay yeah let me increase the camera speed right now we are at LOD 0 let's move further now you can see that LOD transition taking place at this distance similarly if I'll move further away from the static mesh We'll have an LOD2 transition taking place at around 0.37 okay yeah 0.38 so yes in this way you can enable LODs on your static meshes and improve your FPS of the viewport similarly uh, let's close this window let's say you want the same LOD setting for this blanket as well so what you can do is you can select the static mesh and go into the details panel and then work on those LOD settings or what you can also do is you can simply select the static mesh press ctrl v on your keyboard to search for the static mesh in the content browser and simply copy the LOD settings okay select this static mesh on which you want to apply that LOD setting and simply paste that LOD setting for this one now we'll have the same LOD setting for this static mesh. Let's open the static mesh. Let's uh, disable nanite. And now you can see that we have three number of LODs for this static mesh. And if I'll check this box, you can see that after this screen size, we'll have 20% reduction. And after this screen size, we'll have a 50% reduction. Okay. So it's the same LOD setting. Similarly, if you want to apply the same LOD settings for multiple static meshes, you can simply select those static meshes, press Ctrl B on your keyboard, and simply paste that LOD setting. Okay? Yeah. So, in this way, you can enable that LOD setting on multiple static meshes, but the reduction of polygons through LODs may not be as much as efficient as Nanite. Nanite is less time consuming, it is basically just a click away. Okay? It's a lot more efficient, it's much more dynamic than the LODs. I've actually made a video on Nanite as well, in which I've explained what Nanite is and how it actually works. So you should definitely check that out, okay? So yes, that's it for this lecture and in the next lecture, we're gonna learn about IES, okay? So yes, I'll see you guys in the next one.